Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy video where we check out bikes and gear, find out all their features, and of course figure out their weights. And in this video, we're getting a chance to take a look at the 2022 Giant Rome 2. Now this is the mid-level version of their dual sport style hybrid, and we're going to go into the features and designs of this super versatile bike. We'll go into the places that you might be able to ride this, as well as find out exactly what it weighs. So if you're interested in checking out this Giant Rome 2 dual sport hybrid, then stick around and let's check it out together. So in the hybrid lineup, there's going to be several different types of hybrids and in fact even in Giants lineup they have multiple and this Giant Rome comes in at what they consider a dual sport style hybrid and what a dual sport style hybrid is is it's got the position similar to a fitness bike this would be similar and fit to say the Giant Escape fitness bike that they have but then they rock a front suspension on the bike that adds in a little more compliance and capability on rough dirt as well as even some trail riding. They bake in a little bit wider and slightly knobbier tire on a 700c wheel so the same diameter as a road bike and that puts this bike together to be a bit more than a fitness bike but just a little less than a traditional mountain bike. Now in that you're going to get the capability of say an all season which means that this bike can do a lot of things well but nothing perfect and that's kind of the compromise that you get with a dual sport bike is it's really a mixture of those two to dial in a bike for a lot of things. Now in my opinion for 2022 the Giant Rome 2 does a really great job at $950 of mixing together some great part specs as well as different pieces of capability of this bike and we'll get into that and the specs and features a little while on but essentially this bike is going to have much of the capability of a fitness bike by being able to run racks fenders things like that on the bike you can even mount a kickstand on this bike and then up front with that front suspension and a little bit wider tires it's going to add some durability so you might choose this bike if you live near some state parks where you want to be able to go ride around but also take it in your neighborhood or maybe you live in a city where you want something rugged and a little more comfortable this bike would be a great way to get a little bit of additional durability over a traditional fitness bike. So it really mixes in as say the SUV of hybrids. Now the Giant Rome itself, regardless of the model that you get, is going to run their Alux aluminum frame with which is a shaped and manipulated tubing aluminum frame. It has all internal cable routing, which I love to see, disc brakes on the front and the rear, as well as quick releases to be able to make it easy to take the wheels on and off. The other cool thing about this frame is it rocks something called a defuse seat post. Now the defuse seat post is what seems like a traditional seat post, except for on the back, it's flattened out. Now they're doing that because that's going to allow the seat post to have a little bit of flex going backwards. But another thing that I do like about that is that also means when you're adjusting the seat post, it's really easy to get it in line with the top tube because you're not going to have any wiggle or flop. So gone are the days where the seat post might twist on you, as well as you get a little bit of additional compliance in the back end of the bike. Moving into the cockpit of this Giant Rome 2, we've got all aluminum componentry. So we've got this alloy handlebar going across. It's got a slight rise to it. You can see it kind of comes up just a little bit. A nice alloy stem. Those are combining together to make it a little bit lighter in the front end of the bike. And then out back you go to this giant saddle which has a bit of cush to it mounted up on an aluminum defuse seat post. Now if you wanted even more compliance you can actually buy a carbon defuse seat post which would be a nice addition to add a little bit more comfort to it. Moving into the parts and components on the Rome 2 let's first talk about the suspension fork. So up front we've got a SR Suntour NEX fork. This fork is going to rock 63 millimeters of suspension travel, which means that the front end is going to have 63 millimeters of compression that can happen absorbing bumps as you ride through. And in fact, one of the neat things about this particular fork, and it comes with the higher level bikes, is going to be this speed lock. 
So you've got an adjustable front end from locked out right now where it can't compress to when you open this up, you can make it easier and easier for the front end to compress and make it a bit smoother. So say if you're pedaling up a steep incline and you don't want the front end to be bouncing around, that's a pretty cool addition because it's gonna allow you to lock the front end out, but also open it up when you need a little extra cushion. Going into the drivetrain is then another neat piece on this Rome 2. So you'll see up front, it only has a single ring. And that's on purpose because that's gonna make it a much easier drivetrain to run and use, but also a bit more durable because you're taking away one of the failure points, the front derailleur, as well as making things a bit more simple. So you've got a single ring up front, and then out back is gonna be the Deor 10-speed rear derailleur. This is a clutch derailleur, which helps keep the chain nice and taut. And then it goes out back to an 11 to 46 tooth rear cassette. That cassette drives forward to the crank set, which has a 40 tooth chain ring on it. And that means you're gonna have less than a one to one gear ratio. So very easy for steep climbs, as well as a 40 11 should give it enough speed on the flats. And the last piece to talk about as far as parts and components are gonna be concerned is the giant cross cut tires. These cross cut tires are gonna have flat protection to them. And then they're gonna come in a 700 by 42 millimeter width. And that 42 millimeters is gonna give nice cushion to the bike. But something I really love about this, so you can see we've got lots of tire clearance for up to a 53 millimeter tire. Now these are on 700C wheels, which means it's the same diameter as a road bike. So you're gonna get a nice rollover and pretty good speed out of a setup like this. Well, anyways, now that we've taken a look at this bike, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The actual weight of the Giant Rome 2 is gonna come in and weigh 30.76 pounds. Well, thanks so much for joining me to check out this Giant Rome 2. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this bike down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit a thumbs up button as well as grab a subscribe so that way you can see more videos like this as they come out in the future.